How do you make time fly? By throwing the clock out the window. <laughs> Oops. Hello and welcome to another episode of Explore with Ed, where we explore the Bible together. So, I wonder if you've ever thought, what does God do with his time? Well, turn to the person next to you and see if you can come up with anything that you think that God does with his time. Go! Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back in me then. Uh, brilliant, hopefully you came up with some ideas. Uh, things that God does with his time can include that he loves us, he spends time with us, he speaks to us through his Bible and through his Holy Spirit. And, uh, but not everyone, uh, and anything else that you thought of as well, um, but not everyone thinks about a certain thing that God does, and that is that he waits. Now that seem, might, might seem quite strange, but he waits for a reason. He's not just waiting for his lunch to be ready. Apple pie. No, he's actually waiting for us. The Bible says that he waits for people to come to him, to go to him and say, I want to be part of your family. In the Bible, in a book called To Peter, uh, it says this. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. To the Lord, one day is like a thousand years. And a thousand years is like one day. The Lord is not slow to do his promises. That is the way that people understand slowness. But God is being patient. He does not want anyone to be lost. He wants everyone to change his heart and live. God is saying that there that he is waiting. He is waiting for you. He is waiting for us to be part, to want to be part of his family. God has all the time in the world. God made this world perfect. He put people in this world, Adam and Eve, perfectly. And they lived perfectly until sin came in. And they had to leave the garden. See, he could have made Adam and Eve love him, make them love him. He could have made us love him. He could have created us in a way that loves him just because he said so. But God isn't like that. God lets us choose because if we were forced to be uh, like, uh, on this earth to love him, if we were forced to love him and come to him, then we would be like robots. I am a robot. Uh. Instead, he waits. He waits for people to love him, to see him, to seek him, to understand what he has done for us and go to him. He wants us to love him. That's why he waits. Who wants a friend that is forced to play with you? That is forced to be kind to you? That doesn't really mean they want to be with you. And it's the same with God. He won't force us. He waits lovingly, patiently for us to realise who he is and go to him. So that's one of the ways that God uses his time. He waits.
is. Now, in uh, view of that and in view of what we have said already about what God, uh, what God does with his time, turn to the person next to you then and tell them something that you think God would be happy with you spending your time on. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hopefully you would have come up with things that help one another, things that God would be pleased with, things that help each other, things that help this world. God has given us this time, and he's given us this time to go to him, to be part of his family, and to help others whilst doing it. Things that glorify him is the best use of our time. And let us not forget why we can go to him, why we have this time in the first place. It's all because of Jesus. Jesus died so that we can live, live for God in a way that glorifies him. He waits for us. He wants us to love him. He will not force us. He is patient with us, all for his glory. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you that you are loving. I thank you that you are kind. Thank you that you wait for us. Wait for us to want to love you and that is right for us to love you because of everything that you've done for us in Jesus' name amen there's an ant plant hand span ham spam jam tram man man boy girl cheese flan there's a car spa tar bar aardvark hardbark shark dog park walk lock God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an inkling, pink drink, zinc, blink, sink, wink. God made everything. There's a prawn, lawn, dawn, horn, pick, tick, picnic, zoo, zoo, lulu, tutu. There's a hot spot, not pot, tock, cock, dot, yacht, bees, knees, flea, ski, sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane, brain, mainframe, plane, grain, plane, rain. God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, stare, God made everything. There's an ant plant, hand span, ham spam, jam tram, man man, boy girl, cheese flan. There's a car spa, tar bar, aardvark, hardbark, shark dog, park, walk, lock. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's an inkling, pink drink, zing, blink, sink, ring. God made everything. There's a... Brawn, on dawn, horn, pick, tick, pick, nick, zoo, zoo, loo, loo, too, too. There's a hot spot, not pot, top, cop, dot, yacht, bees, knees, fleece, fleece, sneeze. God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. There's a crane, brain, mainframe, plane, brain, plane, rain. God made everything. Oh, God made everything you see, he made you and he made me. When you look everywhere, everywhere, say, God made everything. God made everything. God made everything. God made everything.